So hi and welcome to this video. So today I'm basically going to be talking about reviewing a few of the products in the Car Chem range and basically I picked up a few of these products about, about a couple of weeks ago and I've really sort of given them a bit of a try and basically just wanted to review them on this channel because, sort of spoiler alert, but I was actually really really impressed with this brand. It's not a brand that I've tried before and I went ahead on the website because I basically wanted a new car shampoo and I heard good things about theirs and basically got a little bit tempted by the deal on where basically you could pick up 10 samples for, um, sorry, five samples for £10, uh, which I thought was pretty good and I'm kind of into trying different products, so that's why I went ahead and did that. Um, so sort of full disclaimer at the start, I um, am not affiliated or sponsored by Car Chem at all. They haven't sent me these products and um, they don't have a clue that I exist, basically. Um, I basically just went ahead and purchased them myself. So bought them a few weeks ago and tried them out and I was impressed. So I thought I'll just make this video, stick it on the channel and kind of review their products. So I'm first going to be talking about this product here and this is the shampoo. So it's called Super Sud Shampoo. I think, I don't know if it used to be called maybe 1900 to 1. I think that this maybe used to be called that, um, but it's basically a similar dilution ratio. But basically it's a really, really highly concentrated shampoo. Um, and I was really, really impressed because basically I sort of have seen a little bit about this on some other detailing channels and heard good things about it. So I thought I wanted to give it a try because I've currently used Built Hamburgers Also Wash. I kind of wanted a new one because I basically ran out of that and wanted to try a new, new product. Um, but basically I tried that one and I was really, really impressed to particularly how sort of concentrated it was and how little of it you actually had to use so it's got a pump on the lid um, and basically in my wash bucket I put around two pumps into my wash bucket with about what, around 10 litres maybe um, and it definitely was quite a foamy shampoo and um, I think it did really work well to kind of lubricate the paintwork but what I really liked about it was kind of how good the cleaning power was how easy it was just to use and how kind of well it rinsed away so I've tried a lot of products in the past that have sort of really been kind of about enhancing gloss and things like that and it tends to leave sort of like a finish on the car and particularly for me I use quite hydrophobic coatings and um, sort of sealants and basically whenever I put a shampoo on and it basically is going to coat it in sort of a glossy layer it might be kind of cool to get those kind of effects but really I just want a shampoo that just cleans the car and doesn't leave that residue because nine times out of ten those residues are actually very hydrophobic and they sort of like kill the sealant you've got underneath them which is really annoying so basically i just like that the shampoo just basically does everything you want it to really well it's not anything sort of like you know amazing it doesn't add a ton of gloss which is not what i wanted but it cleans well it's good value for money it's actually the cheapest sort of shampoo i've tried um in terms of how much you get versus how much it costs i think it costs around sort of I think it was about 12p per wash or something something ridiculous like that when i bought the 500ml bottle and um, so it was really really good value for money so i was definitely impressed with that it did everything right and i can't make any complaints it's a product that i definitely purchased again and um, also i wanted to try some out some other products so basically yeah, i had run out of my gloss spray so i'm currently using um, another product so it's similar kind of products but basically this is a it's called clearview glass cleaner and basically it's obviously a glass cleaner but what it also does is leaves sort of a hydrophobic coating on the glass. So as I've said, I basically like it when products are really hydrophobic just because living in the UK and it rains constantly. If I've not got a sealant on my glass, it's actually, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of drivers don't even use them. So I'm probably being a little bit pedantic, but I find it hard to drive just because the visibility is not as good. I think when you've got a hydrophobic coating on the glass, it just sheets water off completely. And it just makes it really, really easy. You don't have to use a windscreen wipers as much. You wear those down. It just keeps the glass a lot cleaner. So I basically picked this product up and it, it does exactly what it says. It cleans the glass fine. You know, it, it's not something I would use to really deep clean the glass. It's not that kind of product. Um, but what I do is basically when I've washed the car, I'll just go ahead and apply that glass cleaner straight after. And basically it's just going to leave that sort of hydrophobic coating on there. That's sort of in a way sealant, quite lightweight. It will come off and it will sort of wear away. But sort of on the front windscreen i need to apply it every time i wash it but on the side and the back windows every sort of two two three weeks i reckon would be would be fine to use that just to top it up but obviously you get so much of this and i think this was a, it was less than 10 pounds maybe about eight pounds and yet i think this is 500 mil it's just gonna last forever and um, so i think if you're looking for a good glass cleaner and you kind of want those kind of hydrophobic effects then it's probably a good one to check out and um, i was definitely impressed with it did everything right so i was happy with that um, next products that I actually purchased, and so the products that I purchased now are the sample sizes. So basically, they did a deal where you get 
five samples, um, I think they're about 100ml each, I get five samples for um, £10. So I basically picked up the shampoo, the glass cleaner, and that came to about £17. And I think you got £20 and it was free delivery and I love trying out products. So I thought rather than just buying another full size one, it might be good to kind of get a little bit of a little bit more out of it and kind of try some of the different products in the range. I was running out of a few of the products that I bought, a few kind of different types types of detailing things that I, I was running out of. So I thought it'd be good to kind of top them up and try some different samples. So the next one that I've purchased was this tire gel. So this, I, I tried this, I'm, to be honest, it, it was it did everything right like most of the products is kind of a tagline i'm using in this in this video but it sort of it left a really good finish in terms of it wasn't super super shiny but it wasn't sort of it was it was worth applying i think sometimes you get those tire dressings that basically look matte and i want a little bit of gloss but at the same time i don't want it to look cheap and that's sort of like that really sticky shiny sort of silicon kind of based dressings this, I think this is silicon based, but it doesn't leave a really horrible, like super shiny finish. And um, so it left a really nice finish. It applied very, very easily. I just used it with a foam applicator and basically it was quite a good consistency. So it really coated the wheels quite well without you having to use loads of product. It didn't soak into the foam applicator too much. It was kind of syrupy sort of formula. So it just spread really, really easily. Um, in terms of durability, it was pretty standard. It didn't blow me away. It lasted around a week um, before I felt like I needed to apply it. I think once you power wash the wheels down, you can definitely see it's still there. Um, obviously, me driving in the UK, get my wheels get just covered in mud constantly. Um, but once you power wash it down, you could see that it was definitely still there. But for me, I like every time I wash my car, I apply a new tyre gel just because I like the way it looks. Um, I don't think my car looks clean without having one on. Um, but I think you probably could get maybe a couple of weeks out of this before you really, really felt like you had to reapply. But personally for me, I would top this up weekly. Um, of course, you're going to get better durability if you really scrub the tyres down using proper degreaser and APC. Really kind of scrub the tyres, use a stiff brush and then wipe them with a microfiber towel afterwards. That'll really kind of get the tyres quite, quite clean. You can never get them super clean. I've always struggled with that, but you can get them pretty clean with that. And then once you apply the tyre gel, you'll get probably better durability by doing that. But... Generally, it's just something I throw on every week now because it's so, so easy to apply. To apply to all the wheels, it takes like less than five minutes. So it's just worth sort of slapping it on, you know, one, every time I wash it weekly um, and just make sure the wheels look pretty good. Um, it just It's just easy to apply. And I've used this a few times now and I don't know if you can see it in the bottle, but it basically looks like I haven't even touched it. So I can tell that this is going to last a while despite it is actually only a sample. So if you're going to purchase one of the samples, I'd say pick this one up because you get a lot of value for money it works out this cost me two pounds so can't really argue with that i'm pretty happy with that purchase and um, so next on the list of products that i tried so this is the quick detail spray it's called hydro qd and i'm used to using um quite i'm not I, generally i don't really use quick detail sprays that much just because i don't like that they leave obviously they leave a layer obviously over your car and i like the sealants and the waxes that i use so i don't really want to cover them up with a different product and get different properties However, with this one, it kind of had what I was looking for in a sealant, but also in a quick detailer. So I could use it to really top up the sealants that I was using. So I've used it on top of that one there. So that's Dion Wet Coat. And basically just to kind of top it up, just to make it a little bit more hydrophobic and just to make it last longer, basically. So what I will say about this is that it, it leaves a very, very good hydrophobic coating. It doesn't last forever. It's going to last sort of one to two weeks. It's not, you know, going to blow you away with durability. But it's just very quick to apply once you're either sort of drying the car and it's still wet or even when you sort of done drying the car, just go over it with sort of a microfiber towel and just apply it that way. But again, you use barely any of the products when you're actually applying it. It smells really nice as well, which is worth noting. It smells of palmer violet, so I was pretty happy about that. It smelled pretty good. But um, basically what I really liked about it was how hydrophobic the coating it actually left was. So you, I could tell in the morning after I'd actually washed the car, I'd, I'd sprayed that on and I could see that it, it I'd left those sort of beads and sheeting of the water. And then when I drove the car, um, I noticed the water just sort of fly off the car completely. So it it's really, really good in terms of being hydrophobic. It's not something, you know, that just going to add a bit of gloss and sort of remove those water spots and things like that. It will actually leave a good coating on the surface. So I think if you're looking for a quick detail that, that sort of isn't going to kill the, the sealant underneath, isn't just about gloss, but it's going to leave that kind of hydrophobic coating that's particularly good if you are in the UK like me. 
then this is a good one to go for. Um, I was very happy with this and obviously, you know, I've only got the sort of 100ml sample, but I definitely will consider purchasing this again. It's probably the best quick detail I've, I've tried. But as I've said, I've not tried a million of them, so I can't, you know, vouch for every single one out there, but I was impressed with this. It did what I wanted it to do, so I was very happy with that purchase. So next I'll talk about this product here. So this is the Light Cut Compound. So obviously they have other products in the range in terms of their sort of paint correction products. So they have a heavy cut, a medium cut and a light cut. But basically I already have a heavy cut compound and I already have sort of a, an all-in-one sort of polished compound that you know, gets a decent finish. But what I really what kind of wanted and I've just run out of because I've just clayed my car and polished it um, was a light cut compound so basically i picked up this one just because i wanted one in my set i don't polish my car that often i only really use them when i polish other people's because i kind of like to keep the paint work sort of scratches well free i'm very careful when i'm washing it so i don't tend to have to use these that much but i wanted one just to kind of replace the old one that i had um so i didn't try this on my own car but i tried it on someone else's who just cleaned it and basically i, just, I asked if i could basically borrow it and and just try it so i tried it on one panel just to really see kind of how easy it was to work with. So the paintwork that I was working on was incredibly swirled. I, it, it hasn't been washed well in the past. Um, it was very, very swirly, but I just, it needed proper correction. It needed compound and polish, but I just wanted to try it out quickly. So basically I just used it with um, a chemical guys, Hexlogic white pad and found that actually it was a very, very nice product to work with. It did gloss up the surface, but obviously again, it didn't have much cut, so it wasn't removing those swirl marks. So you couldn't see probably to the extent of how much it would gloss up the paintwork but what I noticed is it doesn't dust up at all which I was really surprised about because other products that I've tried in the past polishes it's not a deal breaker for me but they do dust up and particularly I suppose when you're polishing the car you want to avoid that dust because you're essentially removing you know scratches and swirls that dust might have caused in the first place you don't want to be dealing with dust when you're doing that so it didn't dust up at all I worked it in within about three passes um, on about speed four um, with my just dual action polisher and basically it didn't dust up at all it was really really easy to wipe off with a microfiber it wasn't greasy and it didn't sort of stick and it left a pretty shiny finish again I couldn't judge it completely just because I haven't obviously compounded the car first and I couldn't really see sort of the extent of the paintwork but it did do a good job it was easy to work with um, which was the main thing that I was kind of looking for so I'll be happy to use that on my car next time I play it um, and just really see I think Probably, I'll, I'll, I should get maybe one or two full cars worth out of this, to be honest, and my car's tiny, so maybe maybe one, but I'll, I'll get a decent use out of this, so I'm pretty happy that I bought this, just, just something that I've got in the set, basically. Um, then to sort of go with that, I haven't tried a panel wipe solution before, um, so I just picked up this, basically, just just so I had one, pretty much. Um, so I used this kind of after polishing that car, I also used it on my own car when I was trying to remove an old wax sealant. Um, so I normally use a different technique to do that. I'll snow foam the car and put um, an all-purpose cleaner in there as well. This Surfex HD there. Um, but that basically sort of strips the wax. But afterwards, I just wanted something to wipe down just before I applied um, the sealant. And I tried this and, again, I can't massively judge it compared to anything else just because I don't tend to use these products much. I just wanted one to kind of have. Um, but it applied easy. It wiped off easily. I think that it probably does everything you kind of need to particularly good if you are using these car chem products kind of purchase a panel wipe that's in that range just because obviously there's there can be sort of compatibility issues with using different products your ipas and things like that if you're using sort of incompatible products trying to remove sort of really oily wax with um with a, a panel wipe that's just not compatible isn't going to really work but obviously if you're purchasing something from the range then you know you can be pretty confident that it will sort of remove those oils and things like that so I did apply this product um, on the panel that I actually polished um, and I applied that afterwards and then went ahead and applied the hydrophobic quick detailer and I think that it did a good job at removing the oils um, that were left behind by the polish because the quick detailer did a pretty good job, did a similar job to when I tried it on my own car when there was no wax as well. So pretty happy with that product. Um, but again, it, you know, I think it's pretty standard. They're not, you know, no one's ever going to be particularly blown away by a panel wipe, but it's a good product to have if you don't have one already you want to try the samples then it's probably a good one to kind of go for um and then the final products that i tried which was another product that i've never actually used and that is the glue and towel remover so basically i do not have oh i didn't have a glue and towel remover in my sort of collection and i definitely thought i needed one because 
I, I tend to get, I've, I've seen a few tar spots on my car and I, when I don't want to clear them because I just don't want to touch paintwork and kind of potentially mar it, it's good to kind of have one of those products. But again, I, I've sorted my car out recently and decontaminated it. So I couldn't try it on mine because there just wasn't any tar to sort of remove. But I did try it on another car that had really, really, really bad tar spots just kind of under the front wheel, um, front wheel arch, basically the tar was just horrendous so I'll just overlay some clips over this but what you basically do is just you just spray it on leave it for a minute and then wipe it off with a microfiber so these tar spots that I was dealing with I could tell were gonna be a nightmare they were so so thick and um, they've been on for about five years as well I've, I've seen them before um but basically they I, I'll show some I'll show some spots over this but it, I could definitely see it dissolving the the, the tar that was on there um there wasn't any glue but there was tar so I could definitely see it dissolving that you see on the microfiber when you wiped it off how much tar actually came off it was ridiculous and um, but it's definitely sort of i think it did what you'd expect a glue and tar remover to do it worked pre pretty fast and did remove a lot i did have to go over it a few times to kind of actually remove all the tar and i don't know whether that's because maybe it's not the most powerful or just because there was so much tar but it was a massive challenge for any product to try and get rid of that amount of tar so I was, I was happy that it actually did do that without kind of having to use clay and things like that which I don't really like using on tar too much because obviously it's just not really necessary to kind of potentially rub all that tar back into the paintwork I think it's I just I'm not really a huge fan of it so it's good to kind of have one of those products again if you for me I wouldn't purchase a full size product of this just because there's so little opportunity for me to ever use one not really dealing with tar that often so it's just kind of good to have and um, just to use a few sprays i basically it doesn't look like i've used any when i tried to remove those tar spots so it's a good product to have if you want to purchase one of the samples as well but basically that was kind of my overview of the different car care products again you know i'm not affiliated with them i'm not sponsored by them or anything like that so basically this is all kind of my own opinion and um, they don't know i exist so but basically i was really really impressed with this range so I definitely think if you haven't tried any of these products before then check them out and um, I think the the reason they're big in the UK I think a few people have tried them if you're gonna look for I think the products that sort of blew me away the most were the shampoo and the glass cleaner I think that they were really really good products and um, particularly the shampoo was was one of the best I've tried so if you are looking for a new shampoo then check them out or try some of the samples as well I definitely think that's well worth doing if you just want to kind of add to your collection but if you have enjoyed this video then definitely be sure to give it a like comment down below if you've got any questions about the products and um, any any kind of other things you'd like to know um, and subscribe to the channel definitely because i am uploading videos like this all the time i'm doing different product reviews and uh, recommendations detailing tips vehicle transformations all kind of stuff like that so if you are interested in that kind of thing and um, you're into detailing then this will be a good channel for you to subscribe to so hit the subscribe button if you are interested in that but until then i'll see you next time